So this is something they don't tell you about, I don't know if this is the Nullarbor yet, I don't think it is, I'm seeing trees everywhere. So they're not really the Nullarbor but all the stickers in the shops in the servos all say, oh you've crossed the Nullarbor and all this kind of crap, but anyway. There's a sign for the Madger to look at and I'm thinking well this is going to be pretty weak and of course it's this, I don't know how it looks on camera but it's magnificent when you've just been looking at flat boring bunda for quite a few hundred kilometers beforehand so it's quite the expansive view. I'm in the process of passing two giant mining trucks on the back of big semi trailers they've got in front of me again while I was getting fuel so now I've got to go and pass them again so happy days. than the average outback service station because most of them are pretty terrible. Majura was nice, Cockle Biddy is an absolute dump. Um, yeah, but this is pretty good, pretty good. It's ludicrously expensive petrol, $2.90 a litre. And I want you to download an app to buy it, which is ridiculous. Um, the next stop from here is um, the border, which is only 10 minutes away, and we're in South Australia. But we're still 1,300 kilometres to Adelaide, so Still got a bit of ground to cover. Here we 
are 10 minutes down the road and that is the end of WA. That is officially South Australia. So thank you WA, that's been fun. It's taken me 23 days to get around WA now. Admittedly I did spend four of those days in Queensland. It's supposed to be three but thanks to the quits at Jetstar added an extra day. Sorry, that's a bit harsh. Thanks to the absolute Muppets at Jetstar, I had to add an extra day and a huge amount of inconvenience and extra cost. Thanks Jetstar, you fuck, you Muppets. Anyway, so we're entering South Australia now, which I'm quite excited about. I've always liked South Australia. Well, even though it's 95% desert, it is a pretty interesting place. So looking forward to that. And, um, Lots of stuff going on here. I don't quite know what all this is about. Um, it's flashing police lights there and all sorts of things. I don't know whether I think it's getting into WA. They check they check your your fruit situation. Make sure you're not too fruity or you're you're not all fruited up. They're trying to keep the fruit out of WA. That is a beach. That is a proper beach. It's properly done. Wow. That is that is something. <laughs> wow. So that's starting to get fairly treeless now at this point. That little ramshackle collection of buildings that you can just see on the horizon, that is the town of Nullarbor. So I'm just actually going to Nullarbor on the Nullarbor to get some more petrol because uh, it's um, using quite a bit and it is ferociously expensive out here as well. I paid $2.90 just down the road so I'll be curious to see how much it is here.
Well, I grudgingly paid $18 to come and look at this. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm the world's greatest tight ass, so it hurt. But it is it's definitely some view. So I guess it's worth $18, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see if I can get a refund when I go back. I'll tell them I'm not happy and see if I can negotiate some sort of discount retrospectively. again in the tent. I'm at a place called Nundru, which I didn't even know existed until this afternoon. And I've got bad news for anyone that thinks the Nullarbor has no trees. The actual treeless part is quite short. Um, I was expecting hours and hours and hours of nothingness stretching off as far as the eye could see and I didn't get that. I got uh, some low scrubby bushes with the odd little low scrubby tree. Um, I've seen much less treed landscapes elsewhere in Australia, so I think the we need to revisit calling it the Nullarbor and call it something else, because it's not really treeless at all. Had an excellent curry tonight. This establishment is run by some Indians, and by gee, they know how to knock out a good curry. Couldn't have been a friendlier bunch of blokes. Quite an entertaining evening all round. Talking to Jeremy and another bloke known by the name of Ron, who are both travelling around Jeremy on a motorbike and Ron in a camper van. So, had a very entertaining evening talking to them. Um, but I'm sure you've enjoyed seeing the inside of my tent once again. Anyway, so tomorrow we're heading towards Streaky Bay in South Australia now, I should point out. And, um, we will see what that's like. brought you to though is something you didn't even know existed a windmill museum who knew such a thing existed or needed to exist this windmill here is the biggest windmill in the world the largest windmill this is the Busy Bee. I mean, you're all familiar with the Busy Bee. It's a, it's a classic, the Danks Busy Bee. I think it's a B5 actually, yeah, B5. Yeah, classic windmill. Yeah. Looks like a Comet, some description. Probably a 6C, yeah, 6C, another classic. Uh, good in light winds, the 6C. Anyway, I'll stop pretending I know anything about windmills. There you go. Anyway, that's it for the windmills. Oh, this one's on an actual cart. That's interesting.
Right. Good to go? Good to go, Mike. Thanks, Thank mate. you. Okay. Bay. It's, I don't know what's streaky about it. It's, um, it's nice enough, but I don't know. It's not what I was expecting. I don't know where the streaky things are. I don't know what this horrible building is. Someone's boat shed, maybe. Anyway, it's it's pretty nice. But yeah, it's, the weather's not doing it any favours. Let's be honest. Haystacks, and they're somewhere near, somewhere, what would it be, south of Streaky Bay. And they're quite interesting, particularly that big overhanging one. It's going to collapse at some point, probably while I'm standing under it. There's more of them over there, actually. Uh, but yeah, quite interesting. I'm not always a scoundrel. That's the South Australian power pole. I think they call them Stoby poles. They're made out of um, steel and concrete because apparently there's quite a lot of termites in South Australia. Well, that's what I've been told. If I'm wrong, please let me know. We'll keep your mouth shut, I don't really care. But that's what I've been told and that's why they make them out of something the termites can't eat. Mildly interesting. This is Elliston, which is where I was going to spend the night, but it's a—it's not really inviting me. So, and it's only 1:30, 2 o'clock. So I think I'm going to push on and see if I can find somewhere slightly less rainy. As as pretty as it would be on a good day, it's 
it's not calling out to me at the moment. It's cold and raining and windy. And I don't think I want to stay here. I don't have to, I haven't booked anything. I can stay wherever I bloody well like. As in, what's the guy that runs that stupid fucking TV show? Let me start again. Okay, I'm in Cowl and I'm in a high quality, uh, I guess you'd call it a ski lodge um, style um, self contained cabin. $90, a bargain, really. I mean, look at that. that and that's real wood. Tent drying out again from last night because it poured rain all night and I had to pack up. In the rain, all my gear there, everything charging here, many things charging. This camera was charging. I've got, I've run out of power points, so that's just charging next to the dunny. Tent hanging up on the shower rail to dry. There's nothing quite as dispiriting as climbing into a wet tent you know, in the dark in a caravan park, so um, I shouted myself this, uh, this fine box to live in for the next 14 hours uh, and then tomorrow I'm going to head up and around uh, Port Augusta and then back down towards Adelaide and we'll see what comes of that. Let's hope it's not too rough here because I'm not a big fan of boats. I'm sure once we uh, get going it'll be just fine. It's only two hours. Only have to throw up twice probably. Yeah, off in the distance there, mate, you can see Wallaroo. It's a pretty mint day, isn't it? Sometimes you see whales out here, apparently. I didn't see any whales.
wanted to let you know that South Australia is a very green place in lots of different ways. Well, two different ways. It's very green in that the grass is green. It's also very green. It's power. They're everywhere. That orange FJ Cruiser, the same people I ran into on the Nullarbor. I keep running into them now. Bizarrely, I've run into them in Burra. It's cold, nine degrees, and uh, but 20 bucks, 20 bucks, not eight bucks, but not bad. So, anyway, I'm gonna go and visit my friends, which is why I'm here. So the friends from the sunny coast are here in their caravan and I'm going to go sit in the caravan in the warmth and have a hot chocolate and then go to the pub for dinner. So I will see you a bit later on. Might have bitten off a bit more than I could chew with this hill. 